Welcome to our series of videos on ImageLine synthesizer Ogun. Ogun is designed to produce rich metallic timber sounds. However, Ogun does not limit you to such simplistic sounds. Ogun's engine can produce a range of up to 32,000 harmonics with the unique ability to hand tune the tone of these harmonics. In this first video, we are going to have a quick look at the interface of the plugin and a brief overview of the components that make up Ogun. The interface of Ogun is broken up into various sections, each playing its own part with either the sound or the operation of the instrument. At the top left corner is the master section. This section is the final output stage of the synth. There are three controls in this section. The master volume as well as two pitch correction controls, the coarse pitch control and the fine pitch control. The modulation window will allow you to perform modulation edits on an XY axis. We'll be taking a closer look at this editor in the second installment of this video series. The random preset button when clicked will have Ogun, as the name suggests, randomly select a preset patch for the instrument, which is an interesting way to start playing. The option menu holds various features and functions that control various aspects of the instrument. We'll be taking a closer look at these options in the third installment of the series. The show hide keyboard icon will determine if the on-screen keyboard is visible when looking at the interface. The next few sections really play a huge part when working with Ogun's sound. The first is the timber section. This is where you'll determine the quality or character of the sound. We'll be taking a closer look at the timber section in video 4 of this series. Following the timber is the unison section. Here you can alter the fullness or the body of the sound produced from the timber section. And we'll be taking a closer look at this section in video 5 of the series. After the unison section comes the filter, which is used to further shape the tonal character of the instrument. We'll be taking a look at the filter in more depth in video 6. Under the filter is a basic 3-band EQ, which we'll be taking a look at in video 6 along with the filter. Under these three sections is the envelope editor. This editor is used to apply envelopes to a wide variety of parameters and other aspects of the sound's character, such as volume envelopes and even envelopes that affect the characteristics of the timber section. We'll be taking a closer look at the envelope editor in video 6 and 7. Under the envelope editor is three DSP effect modules that will allow you to add to the character of the sound. The effects on offer are coarse, delay, and reverb. We'll be taking a closer look at these effects in video 12. There are a few options and functions that are available to you to assist you in editing your sounds, such as create sequence, analyze audio, and more. These topics will round the remaining videos for the series. So now that we've had a brief overview of the instrument, in the next video, we'll begin our more detailed look at Ogun, starting with the master section, presets, and the XY modulation window.